Okay, so we've got a pair of symptomatic equations and we've got an issue because we don't have the same uh, coefficients the x or we don't have the same coefficients the y, so we're going to have to make the same coefficients. Um, we could times the top by 5 and the bottom by 3 to get the y's the same, but I think the x's are easier, so I'm going to times the top by 2, oh, times the top by 3 even, and I'm going to times the bottom by 2. So, let's do that, 6x plus 9y equals 46.5, and the bottom by 2 will get 6x minus 10y, and what's that, half times 2 is 1, so it's been minus 1. Okay, with similar to those equations, we work downwards. And the rule is, if the signs are the same, we subtract. If the signs are different, we add. Now the x, uh, 6x and the 6x are both positive, so they are the same, so we're going to subtract going downwards. So 6x take away 6x is nothing, which is good, we need it to be nothing. 9y minus minus 10y, two minuses make a plus, so that's going to be 19y and 46.5 minus minus 1 is going to be a plus, so it's going to be 47.5. And here we get into a little bit of difficulties because we're dividing 47.5 by 19. <laughs> now, I often think to myself, with simultaneous equations, it's, if it's going to be a decimal, which it clearly is, it's going to be probably a something and a half. So what I want to do is just do 19 divided by 2, um, which is going to be, what is it, 20 divided by 2 is 10, so that's 9.5. Okay, so it's 9.5, and then let's have a look at the 19 times table. So 19, and we've got uh, 38, and what is 38 plus 9.5? That's going to be 47.5. So that's one lot of 19, two lots of 19, and then another 0.5 lots of 19 above 2. So that's going to be y equals 2.5 by dividing both sides by 19. Now, if you have a calculator, it'll take a lot easier. Or you might want to just go back and do it, uh, try and get the y's the same. Um, but that's probably the simplest way I can think of doing it. Um, okay, and, and you could do um, long division, I suppose, or, or some other method like that. Okay, so we're going to put the y back into the first equation. So this is going to be interesting. 3 times 2.5 equals 15.5. And let's put our lines going downwards. Okay, so 2x plus 7.5 equals 15.5. So we'll take away 7.5 from both sides. So we've got 2x equals, so take away the 0.5 and it would be 15, take away the 7 it would be 8. So we'll divide by 2 both sides, we've got x equals 4. So x equals 4 and y equals 2.5. And you can check that in the second equation if you dare. <laughs> so 3 times 4 is 12, um, take away... 12.5, uh, which is minus 0.5, so we know it's correct.